person in the chat, their first response was That was like right on the dot. Like he was in and out. It's a smart customer right there. That's what that's what that person is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is October eighteenth, two thousand sixteen. The live streaming today. What are we playing, Damien? Uh, ask me anything. So we will decide on what question is appearing in front of us and come up with a uh, answer, right? Yeah, of course, it's just gonna devolve into. Well, it's really showing what a bunch of psychopaths we really are. Yeah. Wow, is that is that the first one? That's your best question. What show never should have been canceled? That's a pretty good one. People can debate. I know. I'm allowed to hate for no reason. Okay. Yeah. That's what gets me through my fucking day is hating. <laughs> things. Yeah. But uh, yeah, before we get into this, let's let's see let's see how you guys are doing today. Let's let's get some general How's comments. How's everyone doing today? Works. I would imagine works. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you. Well, I cleaned uh, my house today, along with my roommates. Uh, we had a cleaning Nobody. day. <laughs> Nobody cares. And that's all you did today was clean? Clean for four. What are, you, a, what are you, a fucking housewife? It's Tuesday. We all cleaned. You should be working. Well, I wanted oh. to work, but I don't know. Weekends kind of suck for cleaning, so today was a cleaning day. Yeah, weekends where you have all that free time, or weekdays when you have all that free time. Just shut up and let me read the comments. <laughs> Leslie Zamburo writes, George Bush did 9-11. Okay, that's we a, all know. That's a, nice, that's a nice way to kick certain things. Sup, Kyle, how has life been? Shit. Oh. Uh, Chara Demure writes, Spingebill. Oh, that's stupid. Spinbill? <laughs> Sponge Bill, I guess it's some joke on SpongeBob that I don't know because I don't care about internet humor. Uh, let's see, let's see what else here. So we got a Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, Alex prolapsed anus writes Malcolm in the Middle of his mom's pussy flaps. That's disgusting. I, what? Yeah, I gotta stop reading this terrible stuff. Kelsey Ann writes, Hey Kyle and Damien, good to see you again. So, hello. Uh, oh, well, we can't wait to ruin that for you. Why? Yeah. Did, why weren't we doing this last week? You were on a plane, right? I was on a plane, but it was delayed by like two hours. And shame it wasn't everything. delayed. Shame it wasn't delayed forever. And and the pilot didn't do the right thing. Like just decide to crash the plane into the side of the mountain. At least send me to the Bermuda Triangle. I don't want to die. The Bermuda. I'll send you to the Bermuda Triangle. Any the Bermuda. <laughs> what, how is it spelled? Bermuda, right? Bermuda. Bermuda. Muda with a no. U. It's not I didn't a say you wrong. Fucking. My bad. Yeah, it's not the secret triangle of interdimensional <laughs> cows. You fucking <laughs> idiot. Okay, hold on here. Justin Blythe says, "I'm gonna light a blunt." Good man. Enjoy your fucking life. Fuck yeah. Alex. Alex Lange writes, "Utter disappointment." Good. Join the fucking club. <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline Horton writes, "Guys are so funny, and why does Damien have a lighter? You have oh, a ha fucking lighter? What, what are you doing? What? Oh, I played with my lighter earlier. I don't know. I'm OCD sometimes. I just gotta play with things. Or eight, wait. Well, if you ever want to play with kerosene <laughs> and and a lighter, feel free, man. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely <laughs> go behind that. Okay, let's see what else here." Brianna Aubrey writes, you guys are seriously one of the funniest channels on YouTube. Keep it up. Well, thank you. Thanks. If only YouTube fucking did not... Yes, there, 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 there appears... there, And I, I'm sure this has been a conspiracy theory for YouTubers for a long time. But September has seen a drastic drop in views in many channels. I know that's fairly normal to a degree. But, um... Boy... It yeah. looks like it's it's almost YouTube wide. People are getting their views screwed, man. You know, and if you look at the history of YouTube, they implement these algorithm changes without telling anyone. It's you know? all a secret. Yeah, your channel can die for an undiagnosed reason, as many have. That Daystorm guy dead. Whole channel died just because of an algorithm change. You never knew. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, stall dude writes, should I eat a frozen pizza or leftover tacos right now? 
both and give yourself colon cancer. It's Taco uh, Tuesday. I suggest a tacos only. Thank you. Shut the fuck up, you idiot. Um, let's do a couple more. Have you all seen Killer Clowns? Yeah, I bought a clown costume for Halloween. I don't. I think I'm gonna return it. You're gonna return it? Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna be killed. Well, just don't go out in the streets with it. You're safe at a party. I'm sure I'll be killed. <laughs> of that, of my fortune. I mean, <laughs> there you my, go. Of uh, my luck, I'll be killed. I'll sit in my apartment in it, and I'm sure someone will shoot through my closed window and kill me. Just you should just keep it. it. You should just keep it just in case. You want to use it sometime down the I was going to do the sad clown, or I was going to do, like, the clown hunter, who is also a clown. I don't know. Who the fuck's a clown hunter? Uh, it's a creative idea, idiot. Oh. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, a couple more comments. A couple more comments. Uh, let's see here. Are there any good scary movies coming out for Halloween? There's nothing coming out, is there? Not really. That's horse shit. What, what happened to the new Saw? What happened to Saw? Saw used to always fall on Halloween, but now there's no more Saw movies? Yeah, because Saw was a good movie. Uh, I really <laughs> need Saw fucking 10. All right, the, fir the first Saw was a pretty good movie Yeah. with a decent twist, but some really clunky shit in the fucking middle. Yeah. Um, like, I'd challenge anyone to go watch that and tell me, like, that's real police work. Like, it's clearly not oh, yeah. someone who did any research on, like, how cops operate <laughs> at all. Um, and Danny Glover is terrible in that movie. But on the whole, it's an interesting idea. You know, yeah. you know it's, it's well executed for what it was. And that Fear Factory song in the end is pretty great. There was a Fear Factory uh, song in there? Yeah. Fear Factory is like the, like, when it does that final twist, it's like Fear Factory. I guess it's what inspired that whole every Saw movie ending in the 360 yeah. flashback epileptic fit. Um, which is the worst thing to recycle movie to movie. Um, but okay. Anyways. Let's, okay, last person. Trenton Crookshanks writes, Hello, I've been watching you guys since Damien first started. I love you guys. I love your patience and willing to accept thank you terrible. thank you for watching <laughs> have you seen any of damien's new videos have you seen has anybody here seen damien's new comment video that's what i want to know before we get into this game probably not because youtube apparently didn't fucking put it out in their subscriptions great yeah great i spent Very... like, i spent 30 hours on that video You're like fuck I mean, yeah, but I think they they do subscriptions based on uh, upload rate. Uh, it's like based on your affinity score now, so you're just being buried because you yeah, upload yeah. frequently. You have an audience that's like fairly small, diehard fans now, um, or it's like SEO views you're getting from either old videos that are being shared, or like those Omegle videos. Let's talk inside baseball, inside YouTube. Right now. Let's do that. You guys want to fucking. <laughs> Yeah, you're just getting buried in 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 the subscription box. Hello, <sighs> the people who YouTube fucking favors, and the people who upload eight times a day. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about clowns? I'm gonna, if you didn't realize this, I said I was gonna be one for fucking Halloween for Christ's sake. Um. Okay, and last one. Uh, a horror movie called Thirty One came out last month. Yeah, that's a new Rob Zombie one. There's a new Rob Zombie. Oh uh, yeah, my dad said he really liked it, um, which means it's shit. Nah. Let's move on. He just likes weird stuff. <laughs> shit. No. Shit. <laughs> There's some Rob Zombie like Devil's Rejects was all right. There's parts of House of a Thousand Corpses which is all right. I didn't see Lords of Salem. Oh that no, was, like, Lords universe. of Salem's horrible. Um, yeah, that was pretty universally panned. So was his Halloween. You know what he is? I, doesn't he just have money? He's just made. He's like financing these movies. Well, I think he likes them. I think he likes the characters that come out of it. Like the characters in House of a Thousand Corpses, I think was the best part of the whole movie. I thought it was funny and just twisted. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying like, who's funding that stuff? 
because they're not making a right. lot of money. Um, I mean, he probably is. He's I think because he wanted to stop music for a while just to make movies, so I think he actually had like a passion. I guess for that's it. what it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. Devil's Rejects was pretty good. All right, let's get into this shit, son. All right. So, people that just came in the, were playing Ask Me Anything. So, the first question is, what show should have never been canceled? There's a lot of shows. Arrested, Arrested Development. That's my answer. Yeah? You don't get to fucking say the same thing. Arrested Development. I was thinking Absolutely. that. All right. Um, 100%. 100%. Canceled. So this doesn't count for uh, show's ending. This counts for cancellation, right? Yeah, I mean, there's that weird fucking gray area where sometimes I'm an idiot and let me not continue what I was saying. Go on. Yes. This, this is just... Uh, shows that were canceled, yeah, without, I guess, let's consider, like, the creators would have wanted to keep going. Yeah. Okay. Um. And you guys, you guys answer this in the comments. I'll shout out the the best answers. What, what are the, can what, the best. what are sh some shows that were good that were canceled? I mean, there's a bunch of shitty, like, network shows, but none of those obviously deserve to be on. Use your goddamn brain, motherfucker. The wire, the wire was meant to end, right? I think. Yeah, they did wrap it up. I think, kind of. What the fuck? I don't. Um. Hmm. Damien's flatlining. Let's see what else it's everybody else. Says. Yeah. Let's what are people Futurama. saying? Oh yeah. See Futurama. I see Aqua Teen Hunger Hunger mm. Force. Did that get canceled? Shut the fuck up. I thought that's still online. Check that out. Did Aqua Teen Hunger Force um, get canceled? Actually, you know what? It's going to fuck up your whole screen. Don't nah, do that. Not check. really. I just look it up right here. Aqua Teen. I'll just look real quick. Dude, their movie, like, I went to their movie. Like, I paid to go see their movie, which, like, five people on planet Earth did. And it sucked. It's terrible. But Aqua Teen Hunger Force, like, those earlier seasons, oh, my Hilarious. God. I would put... Some I would put that up against anything. Just really pure funny so, wise. I need to watch just it then. Just funny, just funny wise. Yeah. Like I'm not saying it's like brilliant humor. It's not. Oh, okay. It's um, just funny. It's just so random, and the timing on that show is fucking amazing. It's uh oh, June twenty fourth. Are you looking it up? Yeah, so Arrested 20. Development's the best answer, as I know. Uh, you can't pick that one, motherfucker. You gotta get but I was else. thinking that. I You didn't say you get future, to speak. Future, hold on, hold on. Futurama was canceled three times. But it came back, so it was, right? Futurama came back. Regular show. Well, no, I think it eventually got canceled. Yeah. Regular show got canceled. Uh, the regular show got canceled? See. Look at you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers know a lot of this shit. Breaking Bad didn't get canceled. No, yeah, that didn't get canceled. Um, you said the regular show got canceled? Break That's crazy. That's what somebody said. Ren and Stimpy got Did canceled. It. That had a good bit of seasons, yeah. though. All right, then my answer... Well, no, because they did get canceled, and they brought it back. And they brought it back, and it was very gay. Like, they, it was a lot of gay humor. Like, they changed the whole premise of the show. They, like, made Ren and Stimpy, like, a gay couple. Which is weird. What are you talking about? Are you in fantasy land again? No, that literally is this true. Th th there's there's an episode where like Stimpy takes a saw and he like kind of like saws wood on Ren's ass and then he made shavings and he acted like he came on Ren's ass and I was like, what the fuck? It... Yeah, that you're watching Ren and Stimpy porn. No, it's not porn. That's where they came back and they like fucked it all up. What is this shit? Feature the main protagonist interacting with celebrities such as adult film actress Tara Patrick. Oh, they know where it's at. Alright, let's see. When does this kid? In 2015, Adult Swim canceled Aqua Teen Hunger Force after 15 years. The cancellation goes against the wishes of the creators who first learned about it from people at the animation studio halfway through the production of the 11th season. Uh, Willis mentioned on Reddit that Adult Swim president Mike Lazo made the decision to end the series because he was ready to move on from it. Um, double length 
episode, last one forever and ever, for real this time, we fucking mean it, was falsely promoted as the series finale and aired on, aired on August 23rd, 2015. Um, the actual series finale, Greatest Story Ever Told, was quietly released early online, August 26th, for airing on August 30th, with virtually no advertisement. Uh, the creators remain employed at Adult Swim for their work on Squid Billies and your pretty face is going to hell. Uh, huh, wow. After 15 years, they, after 15 years, they canceled the longest running show because the president said he was ready to move on from it. Yikes. Damn. Yeah, that show needed to be dead years ago, though. It really, like, I didn't, some of the, I watched the entire series up until... What show is this? Aqua Teen Hunger Force, oh. like in film school. I watched a lot of. I watched almost every single episode. Like towards the end, dude. Like the later series, like <laughs> terrible. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Oh, Freaks and Geeks. There we go. There, there's my answer. Freaks and Geeks. Not Castle. I don't even know what Castle is. Yeah, Family Family Guy was something that needed to be fucking put out to pasture after like season <laughs> two. Season up to season two of Family Guy is incredibly funny. And there's parts of like three and four that are also like pretty funny, but there's hits now, and fam misses. Family Guy Family Guy is currently trash. There was one episode that was alright. I don't know what it was, but it was funny. Wow, one episode and what, twenty four? I, I haven't re religiously watched them. What <laughs> you're doing your brain a favor. Alright, let's move on. Alright. Um so yeah, that was fun. We didn't have a concise answer. I guess the rest of the development was the answer to go with. I'm surprised. A lot of people in this chat that brought up a lot of uh, of series I did not know had been can Oh, Samurai Jack. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Samurai Jack getting oh. canceled. Bullshit. Was that a good you know, show? If they, if they had done Samurai Jack with and made the stories a little bit deeper and, and like, had a follow-through... Like, they had, like, an A-plot where, like, every so many episodes, like, he was going to get closer to fighting whoever that Akumo or whatever the demon was. Samurai Jack was a, a great show. It really mm. was. It's a shame. Yeah. And that, after saying that, I'll never be laid by any woman again. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, speaking of getting laid, the next question is, do you have friends who have seen you naked? Kyle. Yeah. Really. I think if you I think if you have friends who you were friends with like under the age of like five. Yeah. To maybe even like ten or younger. Yeah, I'm sure at some point you fucking stupid kids are like run around fucking naked and shit like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> I did yeah. take my uh, pants off in third grade on a bus and my friend saw me. Don't well, know why. But yeah, because yeah. you're a freak. You're a <laughs> idiot. Yeah, and I'm sure in later, you know, in teenage years when you're friends with fucking girls and shit. I mean, I had friends of mine that were girls who flashed me and, yeah. and shit like that because you're all, you know, you're, you're all fucking teenagers. You're sexually fucking exploring shit. So, yeah, yeah, like your female friends and shit, you know, when you're teenagers or if you hook up with them, I mean, that counts too. So, yeah. yeah. There's people out there. There's people out there who've seen Damien naked, you know, in which. How about that? I, I I must imagine, like there are mental health clinics filling up. Glorious moments for those horrible moments. <laughs> Can you imagine, like the women, like when they date like other men, like later on, and they have to be like, yeah, I dated this guy. Like those men must like just shoot themselves, you know? Oh, what? Like, they must seeing just... they dated me. Yeah, they must be like, oh my god. That or they're yeah, like it's... they're like you know thinking like fuck how am I gonna like compare to this guy? It's yeah it's unfortunate. Well, but... well, well <laughs> is the answer there. Very well is the general answer to that. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. So I guess we're through with that question. Let's see. Uh, I think I think most I think most people have. If you have if you have old older friends, if you're not like a psychopath you know, churns through friends every couple of years once they realize you're a nut. Yeah. If you have long-term friends you've had since you were a kid, yeah, probably. Or if you have friends of the opposite sex, yeah. 
shit. Uh, Kyle, you are uh, Kyle. Are you Jesus? There's no question mark there, and there shouldn't be. Yes is the question. Mark. <laughs> the answer. Fuck. Ter- terrifying. What is this? Oh wait, let me let me read some of the comments here. Let's see here. Megan Brooks said, "Yes, I went to Europe last summer and we shared her home." Yeah, I feel like girls probably are less weird about it than guys are. Yeah, at least to- they go topless. I'm sure. Fucking boobs are boobs. Yeah. Um. Hold on. <laughs> Justin Harris writes, "Fuck no." I like that. Are you a never nude? Are you never <laughs> a never ever nude. <laughs> never never naked. Oh, that's have funny. you ever There's showered other... and like other men were naked? Like you know how they do that in a locker room? Any guy who's gone to a fucking locker room, I don't do it. I won't get naked. Not now. I won't like get naked. shower by someone else's uh, naked. Uh, <laughs> that's, when that's I was a, like a little kid, yeah. When I was a little kid, probably. Yeah. But uh, and now like at gyms, I swear to God, man, the Asian culture, like those Asian men, don't give a fuck about being. Really? Like you go I to a like gym. You go to a gym out here. Asian men don't give a fuck about walking around naked. And I, I wish I was that comfortable with my body. Like, I am not at all. Wow. And I'm just sitting there, and I want to turn around and be like, "Can you just put some boxers on?" <laughs> like, there's no reason. Like, if you momentarily need to be naked, switching out of your clothes, I get it. But you don't need to be walking around, flopping like around. Yeah. Like it's no big. I don't need the extra adjective. <laughs> Okay, the verb, whatever the fuck it is, adverb. Let's let's fucking argue grammar. Okay, boats, birds, rates. Kyle, I love you. Good. That's all I needed to hear. Let's move on. Next question. All right. Have you ever waxed a part of your body? Fuck no, because I'm not <laughs> a, a, a freak. My brother, my brother used to shave like all of his body hair. Really. Like I, yeah, I never understood it. Like nor arm did hair I, and leg nor hair? Nor did I understand why he told me that, he did. That is weird. Um, no, I have, I, and I had a buddy who was like a, uh, he was like a, I, I guess you could call him a bodybuilder. He was sponsored at one yeah. point, but like he would work out a lot and he would, he would shave for competitions and shit. Yeah. Well, that makes sense for competitions and whatnot. I shave, I shave, I shave my face and like my chest if it gets out of fucking control and then you know no. my shit like every other fucking normal human being does if it's 2016 and you're going around like you take your clothes off and you're an hairy animal <laughs> get out of like, you're doing it wrong okay that's Bring not it back to that's 70s, not in, man not in vogue good god how did anyone have sex in the 70s i would have puked it would just be pube sex pube sex puke sex Pube pube. Or puke. It would have been puke pube sex. This is <laughs> how can or why are we so gross? That's what I want to know. Why are we so gross? Next question. Have you ever waxed a party, buddy? I think I have when I was like in uh, middle school. Um, what an asshole! I think it was like when I started growing my mustache and uh, I didn't want to like shave right away, so I started waxing my lip. I highly doubt you were growing a mustache at the age of 13 or younger. I was. I, did, I, I grew hair. You don't have it... enough testosterone now I to did. grow a fucking facial hair. I doubt you had it at 13. You're telling me you were more of a man at 13? Are you a Jack scenario? Like you're getting younger as you get older? That uh, makes sense. That makes that, sense. That's Benjamin that's Button. That's Benjamin Button. Not it's Jack. also Jack, right? Or was no, Jack Jack aged quickly? Yeah, he aged quickly. Like, okay, so I'm Jack. You're Benjamin Button, because <laughs> I'm like already 65 years old <laughs> at 29, and you're like a fucking 11 year old. I am wearing age. a Pac-Man shirt. Why not? All right. Yeah, that's all I can. That recall. would be funny. That would be funny if you had two characters that did. Well, that, that's a good. Uh, idea. Who, were, who were aging in reverse? And they somehow had to work together. Um, yeah. Sounds like a great idea for some shitty, like, network team. If any of you steal that idea, I'll literally kill you. I will literally... <laughs> yeah, and I shouldn't say that because if I do, now I'm on record saying it. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Question. A nice, neutral question. How do you feel about Oreos? Disgusted. 
I have some uh, red velvet Oreos downstairs. I didn't mean to buy them. I have I have them. a lot of I have a lot of white guilt when it comes to Oreos. <laughs> white. I have a guilt. lot of a lot of white guilt. A lot of guilt I have for sitting there and like eating whatever that white death is. <laughs> in, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It's the cream, cream, dude. Right? It's the cream. So oh, gross, man. <laughs> like, they're fucking cookies that, like, most people don't even eat 50% of it. Like, why not just make the cookies, like, the cookie and then the cream on top? Because everybody just rips them apart and eats the cream and throws the other part Some away. Some people do. I eat the whole cookie as itself. As a kid, I took it off. I don't think I... you're a good example for what most normal fucking people do. So I don't Ask the chat. Eat. Ask the chat how they eat their Oreos. There was a whole commercial based on how you yeah, eat Oreos. Yeah, let's get into this. Y'all, let's get into an in-depth discussion on how people fucking eat Oreos. <laughs> yum, yum. Alex Lange writes, Oreos are fucking gross. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of there with you. Um... I ate you Oreo soup on video before. Wow, that's great. I'm glad to hear another <laughs> ironic thing I never should have heard. Oreos with milk, I got gotcha. you. I believe in it. Yeah. 100%. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Standard Oreos. Oreos go from shitty food to amazing food, just with the addition of milk. Like, they should give you milk with the Oreos. And there there's go. no use to eat them anyway. There's no use to eat them anyway. At, at all. It's an investment. I gotta buy milk just to enjoy the fucking thing. Not necessarily. Fuck, fuck Oreos. And you are categorically wrong on that. I don't even know what categorically means. Okay. <laughs> October Fest fan writes, I eat cream only. We're not That's... talking about that stuff, man. Of course, there's like a thousand jokes about the white stuff juice. The white no. stuff juice. Like, there's just like guys. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna how do you feel about Oreos? Me? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, super huge on them. I do like them. I'm not going to, like, deny them if someone gives me one. But it's not my first go-to cookie uh, choice. Go-to cookie. What's your go-to cookie? I want to know your guys' go-to cookie, too. I don't really want to know it, but I'm just going to ask to keep this I used thing to really like Dan. I don't know if they're considered cookies, but it's in the shape of cookie. Those fudge rounds, those little Debbie's fudge rounds, they were like always a favorite of mine. The, the they're like a brownie cookie kind of. Oh, you son of a bitch! Yeah, those are really. Why are we talking about this now? I'm just gonna go eat fucking cookies. <laughs> Love deep fried Oreos. I have had deep fried Oreos. Yeah, deep fried that Oreos is good. very good. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Um, like I want to just spend the rest. I want to get so rich that I can eat deep fried Oreos every day but be able to pay like a doctor to keep me alive for like decades just eating it. You know? Just so you could do that. Yeah, just to sustain my fried Oreo cookie diet. I think that's a good use of, of life. Okay. Yeah. Caden William, Caden White says I shove them in my ass. That's not how you're supposed to eat them. Punch um, packer. Suppository. Oreo oh. suppository. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, let's see what's. Oh, what the fuck? Describe the last time you felt excluded. Why do I need to get into some dark subject now? Yeah, let's not get into. I don't even know. It's like let let's think on. <laughs> let's just end with me like drinking. Uh, who cares? That's right. that's a better well, thing. Here, 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 here's my opinion on feeling excluded. The second I start to feel excluded, I just remember, fuck everybody else. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. I think that's an adult thing to realize. It's like you know what? If people want to exclude you, you know, which everybody's gonna deal with in in, in your child and in your adult life. There's always gonna be people who who go out of their way to try and exclude you from things. So that they can feel like they're above you, fuck them. Yeah. Treat them like the assholes that they are, and 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 you will find the freaks who are like you eventually, and they'll stick around. Um, actually, that's terrible advice because that's probably how you and I are friends, and I don't think that's that's probably some weird form of arrested <laughs> film. Really, what maybe? Is. Yeah, definitely. For me, you're not developing any further. For me, yeah. I'm just 
now. I feel like I've de I've developed a little bit. You showed up to my house with a fucking Metallica shirt, a leather jacket, <laughs> a stubble beard, and the same haircut I have. <laughs> you are slowly turning into me, and you need to <laughs> stop. We will be stop. one, Kyle, eventually. No, we will not. <laughs> we will. Oh, fine. If you want to be the most miserable human alive, by all <laughs> means, take my fucking life, please. Okay, let's let's move on here. All right. So this question is: If those are right, those present, us, if we were stuck on an island, who is the most likely to survive? Not you. That's no, forgotten. Well, I'm really survive. good with survival instincts. Absolutely um. not. <laughs> I've seen you drive in a parking garage, a parking garage, and I feared for my life. Well, that's a car. If I was on my own with no vehicles around me, I could make do, make some food. I know how to start a fire. If you were in a more dangerous situation <laughs> that you had less experience with, you would be fine. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Let's see here. Who here in the chat? I want to know who in the chat would be most likely to survive on an island. That's what I want to know. Are you asking the chat? I'm, yeah. Yes, the chat. I want to. I want to hear reasons for why they would survive. Uh, if you read Lord of the Flies and watch Lost, you're shut set. the fuck up. Shut your god. <laughs> shut up. That's by, by the way. That's uh, I, 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 you're right. There is an island. Yeah. But well, what if you got stuck on like a frozen island? A frozen. You know? well, you'd be dead. He would have to yeah, find like, warmth. What if it's not a what if it's not a tropical island? Like, what are you gonna do? Mm. You know, build a grass fortress. Yeah, like if it's an island that doesn't have coconuts, like what are you gonna do? If it's a tiny island with like no coconuts, no real plant life that you know that you can eat, and no animals, like what are you like what are you gonna do? You gonna fish? You gotta try to. Fish. You know how to fish? You know how to fish? With you know a how to fishing fish? rod. You're gonna make a fucking fish you brought out of what? Uh, grass. Wow, you're Branches. Dumb. Damn idiot. <laughs> God damn idiot. Depends on what environment Kyle and Damien live in. Can we bring our laptops? No, you can't bring your goddamn laptops. <laughs> yeah, there's Wi Fi there, so. Uh, nobody's responding to this question. It's <laughs> Nobody wants to step up. Nobody wants to step up. Yeah, well, I would I not, not. I would not. Sur I would not survive because I've seen Man vs. Wild. Yeah, if you want to watch a survival show, watch Man vs. Wild. That's about it, as far as what it would be like. A lot of freezing and being cold and sitting somewhere. It'd be horrible. And, like, and moving really slowly so you burn energy. Not yeah. me, Jacob Lane writes. Not me. I'd be eaten and shitted out by a shark. Okay. Well, there. That's. Okay. Look on the bright side. There you go. Circle of, circle of life right there. Um, let's see. And I've seen Naked and Afraid. What the hell is Naked and Afraid? This might be an MTV show. Not sure, though. That is an inappropriate title for a show. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a show about rape or sexual <laughs> assault. Naked and afraid? Like, you shouldn't name a show that. <laughs> it does sound like a rape show. Yeah, that's fucking horrible. What idiot in marketing was like, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see here. Yeah. Let's, somebody said rice gum. What, what about, what, are they going to fuck rice gum? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll work. Um, let's see here. I feel like Damien would 100% survive at island to be honest well you're honestly totally incorrect <laughs> do you even know how to make a fire i told you i'd know how do you make a fire you got to get a rock you got to get a stick and you gotta you gotta keep on chipping at it and hopefully the yeah, sparks will fly you are you gotta get the little twigs you got to get yeah. a little twigs and you gotta what type of rock what type of rock do you use sulfur 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 rock where are you going to find a sulfur rock? On a well, volcanic island? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. You need idea. flint. You need flint. Flint? Is that a rock? No, it's a buddy of mine. <laughs> yeah, it's a rock. 
Let's let's move. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Probably. You're dead. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Right. Kyle would build a raft and it would fall apart and he'd get eaten by sea turtles, probably. Dude, I would just ride a fucking sea turtle. For real. Ride a sea turtle. Dude. Good luck finding one. On next episode, Kyle search for a sea turtle. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on here. All right. Um, do you take any pills or medication daily? No, because I'm <laughs> healthy, non-psychotic, at least undiagnosed. <laughs> um, no, uh, I take vitamins. I take vitamins, and I don't work out. When I used to work out, I never took vitamins. I like now think that if I take, and I take the gummy vitamins too, which are like the ninety percent just yeah, just ninety percent like high fructose corn syrup, <laughs> and I just like a big dollop of sugar that I'm putting in my body. Yeah. It's doing nothing for me. Yeah, I thought about I'm getting those, but I'm like, that's not a good choice. I'm just gonna swallow a pill. Hey man, they're supposed to. Well, I guess none of it's checked by the FDA. Let's talk about. Regulation of vitamins. <laughs> you take any prescription, you gotta take some fucking crazy meds, don't you? My mom was gonna put me on like Ritalin, but she never did. Um, which what? I, I used to be like super hyperactive. Um, my attention was all over the place. I still feel like I mean I can control it obviously better now, but I do lose my attention pretty fast. I don't know if that's because. That's how people are now with the internet, but I like I, my attention goes from one thing to another pretty fast. It's not good. Yeah, I can't concentrate on one thing for an hour. Yeah, that's a it's a real damn <laughs> struggle. But I think you know, I the question becomes is like, is that actually a disease or is that or is it just made up? Way, is that the way that we adapted to having so much stimuli around us when we were kids? Yeah. You know, my fucking parents grew up in the 70s. Like, they hung out in the basement and dropped LSD and fucking <laughs> listened to, you know, Grateful Dead or watched one of the four TV shows online. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, online. Online? On, fucking, on TV. Yeah. yeah. They built the internet, and then they took so much <laughs> LSD they forgot it existed until we found it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know. Yeah, the, 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 you probably should have been put on Ritalin, though. I wonder if sometimes I wonder if I should be put on Ritalin. Really well, it do. just fucks with you. It makes you calm, and it kind of just it, it works. But it just like it. People that are on it hate it. I think, from my understanding. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine. My best friend uh, was on Ritalin, and I could really tell when he was on it. He was a fucking zombie dude. Yeah, that's not good. Like, I remember seeing that and being like, yeah, I don't need my attention to be that focused. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I'd talk to him, and he'd be like, uh, yeah, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Wow, that's so weird. Yeah, I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. If it changes who you are that drastically, changes your persona, fuck that. It absolutely did with him. Um, and I could tell when he was off at a different person. Uh, okay, let's move on. All right. Describe the best lazy Sunday. <laughs> Not moving. <laughs> I've been paralyzed, paralyzed by existential dread and recovering from a hangover, lying in my bed, uh, uh, listlessly shuffling through netflix yeah um and then eventually going to ab club finding a couple of x files episodes i haven't watched that are good and watching them and for a moment for a brief moment forgetting that i have a hangover and i've been sitting in bed for 12 hours and then i go to sleep that's a general sunday there you go while my girlfriend talks to me and um i grunt uh, uh, no, I don't think I do that. <laughs> it's grunting. Yeah, that's that's about it. Let's say uh, what what's what's your perfect lazy Sunday besides hopefully going into a coma <laughs> and not speaking to anyone anymore. 
Well, my Sundays are pretty lazy as of right now because usually my girlfriend and I wake up, watch football all day, and that's it. Like, we literally watch football from, like, 10 a.m. to, like, 7 or 8. And uh, we might we might break, do go out for lunch uh, if there's a game we don't really give a fuck about. But generally, that's what we do on Sunday. Uh, if it's football wasn't one, then, yeah, watch Netflix, get rid of the hangover. Yeah, and now I can just feel like I, my body is just failing me. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> Netflix, Netflix binge party. Yeah. Pizza for one. Yeah, it's a lot of ordering food. Yeah, being even real we, lazy. Even, yeah, even when we hang out with girlfriends, most times it's sitting around. Let's... We order food and watch it. <laughs> and watch. And get, and get fucked up. And in an increasingly more drastic degree. Like, it's starting to get to the point where, like, Sunday nights by, like, 10 o'clock, I'm not quite sure what's going on. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> and, like, no. Sunday morning, like, the alarm goes off at, like, 9, and I'm like, yeah, fuck that. You know, most people, like, 6 a.m. driving to work to work a 14-hour day. I'm waking up 9 a.m., and I'm like, snooze. <laughs> it's so hard to get yeah, up at 9 yeah, it's it, pretty bad. That's pathetic. Yeah, there. that's fucking that's really pathetic. bad. <laughs> when I used to when I used to go on set, I'd wake up at like four in the morning. Jesus, that's get a set. Yeah, regularly four or five in the morning. I work a fucking thirteen, fourteen hour plus day, and then get up to do it again and again and again. Five, six days a week. Well, did you enjoy that more than what you're enjoying now? Nobody enjoys that. No, I didn't. Nobody so. enjoys. That. <laughs> okay. Nobody. <laughs> and if they do, they're a sick fuck. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see what you guys do on your Sundays. Let's yeah, see. what do you guys do on Sundays? Uh Thorin's Graven Scrotum, right? I get rid of the hangover with more booze. Yeah. That's about right. Rookie three rates. Think of something else rather than dick jokes. Ha 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 ha. Did we say any dick jokes? I don't even think we. No, said yeah, like good, good burn. Your context <laughs> wasn't even there. Um, let's see. Uh, well, what is this? Crying while jerking off. Okay. Uh, yeah. A lot of jerking off. <laughs> um, jerking off on a Sunday morning. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. <laughs> Okay. When a hangover is your best lazy Sunday. Hey, man. I think that's why most people probably take Sundays off yeah. on a chill day is because they're hungover. Um, yeah, Netflix, Netflix. Uh, okay. What was around before Netflix? Just video stores? But then that desperation, be a... desperation yeah. boredom. Horrible Blast Blast. movies on TV. How many fucking mornings my mom woke us up Sunday morning to rush to go to the drop off, rush to drop off the DVDs before we had to pay a late fee? Oh yeah, yeah it's because they knew people would rent them on a fucking Friday, and yeah. they knew that most people wouldn't get up on a Sunday morning to go fucking drop them off. Sneaky, fucking bastards. Yeah, good. Fuck them. Their whole business fell apart. <laughs> wow. Uh, Go to sleep high. Someone wrote "Sleep in the Walking Dead." Is the Walking Dead back? Is next, it premiered? I thought I thought it was a Sunday, but it's next this coming Sunday is when it's coming on. So they should just kill Rick off and just have the guy with the bat be the only character from here on. That would be a twist. Much more interesting show. Much more interesting. I, I get tired of seeing Rick just like, "Why is my hair so fucking greasy?" <laughs> It is so fucking gross. Yeah. Um, okay, let's move on. One more question. Uh, eh, we got a couple more questions. A couple more questions. Oh, my God. Uh, Caden, uh, Caden White writes, I plan to kill Damien. <laughs> okay. Oh That's boy. good. You, you and me both, bud. The only reason I haven't done it, like, I, and there's probably been times, like, it's been, like, Breaking Bad style, where, like, you're, like, asleep in bed, and I'm just, like, standing over you with, like, a pillow, and just, like, really debating killing you but you're so pathetic i'm just like i'll just leave like one of these days man like you're going out damn yeah suffocating like they're gonna find you the next day just like 
That's horrible. No. Yeah, and they'll just all, they'll just be like, yeah, it must have been the ADD. ADD. I, I would like to go out as a hero, not by getting killed from my best friend. That's a little much. As a hero. Well, hey, that's a hero's death. You know, most heroes, their villain is usually their best friend who turns into a villain. And I eventually, so much, kills. I have so much to live for. I have so much to live. You got for. nothing to live for. <laughs> My goddamn fucking thing. I have even less. All right, let's let's do one more. What's what's this all next right? Question? Uh, next one is. Do you remember the first song you slow danced to? No, because I was probably like desperately having a panic attack that I was. Yeah. Dancing with the girl gonna like fuck oh, yeah. it up and uh, that's how and just yeah. ruin it. i was afraid when i had my dance i i remember when uh we were forced to dance in like middle school i don't know if they did that but they like i guess prepared us for like dancing for whatever Are you reason. in like an all christian like a christian school where, like and in fourth grade you all gotta dance with women so you're not gay <laughs> no. uh but the they women... like look at you they look at you and you're like well that's a lost cause <laughs> Uh, it was a regular public school, Hicktown, but uh, my hands were always cold and clammy, and the girls always made fun of me, so I kind of always fretted dancing. God, way to, way to bring everybody else down. Wait, yeah. I don't know what it or was. A... I don't have clammy hands. I guess it was when I was You should have around... worn gloves. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be freaky. More freaky. Yeah, I never explain why. Like, driving gloves. Oh, my God. Yeah, I used to, oh yeah. fuck no, I I used to be weird in high school. I used to wear leather gloves just because I thought they looked cool. And then everyone kind of stared at me like, "Why are you wearing gloves?" Because I would short sleeves and like leather gloves. I don't know. Why do that? Why I, would I thought it looked cool? I thought it was different, and I was like, "This is kind of cool. Look, I, I'm gonna bring a trend." No, but it didn't happen. I was just a weirdo. Trends have to be things that other people want to do. <laughs> or I can yeah, start them still... and people follow suit. Yeah, you're still not getting any of that at all. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do you guys remember the first song that you slow danced to? Yeah, let's I mean, if there's younger song... people in there, they probably recall better than we do. Yeah, let's get some song names here. The Lion King oh, song yeah. with my mom, I remember that one. With oh, her and her. That's... I mean, yeah, you've embarrassed yourself enough. <laughs> it's true, though. It's the only thing I, I can never, remember. I would never slow dance with my mom. And it I was, also it was for the wedding. It was I for think it's wedding. I think it's kind of odd when like daughters slow dance with their dads. Like I think that's also kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. kind of a sexual thing, dancing. Like yeah, I'm not gonna like walk up to my dad and be like, Dad, would you like to dance? <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's not something you can do with the same sex parent. Slow it's dance there's, with your so, dad. there's some sexual there's some <laughs> sexual connotation to it. Yeah. Some sexual dimension, yeah. I, either that, or I'm just a freak, and uh, and, and read too much into these things. But uh, well, if you booty dance with your mom, that would be weird. Um, Dude, I was in fucking. I don't see any songs yet. I'll just hope. Hopefully, the chat catches. <laughs> I dance. I got so drunk in high school, and there was this like, there was this Latin chick who was like a couple grades below me, and. Uh, I like started dancing with her, and that chick like like bent down and like started running her ass against mine. It was like dancing like a fucking like strip. Like she was having sex with it. It was like and she was fucking hot as shit. And I remember like, I was, oh, like this yeah. is great. And then the fucking teacher like pulled my friend aside. I was like he's drunk. Get him the hell out of here. Wow. And uh, high school because I was I was so drunk. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. I, I, it, it was great that's when i realized it was like alcohol's great when i drink alcohol this can happen yeah. i was like okay <laughs> sign me up sign me. <laughs> yeah, i slow danced a andrea bocelli i don't know what that is andrea bocelli i don't know get back with her now my, my girlfriend now is far hotter and a much <laughs> likely better person yeah. Um, whoa, the chat just went crazy. Um, how you drink in high school? Illegally. That's how. <laughs> Illegally. <laughs> I bought yeah. it from my principal. That's what I did. <laughs> I didn't do I didn't do drugs in high school though. I did not. No. I was, I was more of a college thing. Um, 
Probably for the yeah. better. Dude, my brother used to drink cough syrup in fucking high school and like trip. That's weird. Yeah. Like do straight up hallucinations, man. Drinking cough syrup. Yeah, and then it's they call it robo tripping if you drink uh Robitussin. Enough Robitussin you'll hallucinate. I think after you throw up. Yeah. Um and I'm not advocating for any of you to do that. <laughs> no. No. That's not what I'm saying here. <laughs> Kyle, don't forget to put up the streams online after. Well, thanks for the head heads up, Matt Hugh. But uh, sometimes I don't put them up because some of our streams are crap. Because of you. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see here. Someone read Raining Blood by Slayer. That's fucking hilarious. That's a good slay, a slow dance one. There we go. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the John Cena theme song is also very funny. <laughs> USSR, Russian Communist National Anthem. Funny. Um, yeah, that's about it. Smash Mouth with Mike Myers. Uh, that's probably true. Oh, no. God, yeah, there was there was, uh, there was a bit of Smash Mouth going on in... Uh, oh, yeah. Was that high school or middle school? Middle school. Like, middle school, yeah. That all-star thing was huge. Oh, my God. And terrible. The I, root. That was like my Sanders. favorite song too. Can't believe that. What an asshole. I know. <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> All the things you've ever said that I didn't like, that's number one. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's let's move on here. Alright. Let's see. Pick Mazer writes, you need a heads up, Kyle. The channel is dying. Yeah, I think we know. <laughs> I think we're clear on that. Thank you. Yeah. And and here's here's the face of not giving a fuck. All right. What's next? Uh next question is what was your first CD you bought? That's a good question. Probably some DMX. Damn it. <laughs> of course it was something like pretty awesome. Because my not mine really was, not mine, really for like a eleven year old like eleven year old kid. That's hilarious. That's awesome. That's hilarious. I mean, yeah. not really. I guess it was like I I was doing it because other people were listening to it, and I was like, oh, I'll be like them. I'll listen. And actually, I ended up liking DMX. It's still like DMX quite a bit. Yeah. Even though some of it is like really stupid. Yeah. It's like bad, but it's so like that guy's enthusiasm. And energy is so crazy, and his <laughs> yes. voice is so good. Like it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's still it still holds up. Okay, what were well, you my, gonna say? Britney my, Spears. Mine was um, Pokemon Britney. to be a master. God, piece of shit. I used Stupid to play it all city. the time. Yeah. Okay. Hold on here. One of System of a Down's albums. Yeah, I listen to System of a Down a bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, I didn't understand most of what was going on. <laughs> uh, hey, what, what the fuck ever happened to them? I think, I don't know. I don't know if they went on hiatus or they're just, yeah, maybe they're on hiatus because they haven't made anything in a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nah, I think they might have come out and said some controversial things after 9 11. Might have been what got them kind of. Well, they're still around up. a little bit afterwards. Yeah, and that and like that heavy rock. I guess not a lot of people listen to it anymore. Yeah. Um, Eminem, the Slim Shady. Yeah, I list not. Oh yeah. I listened. The first Eminem thing I ever bought was Marshall Mathers. The LP. Yeah. Yeah, and that was fucking terrible for my mind. Did you get it edited or unedited? I got oh, unedited. No. I got I got unedited. Son of a and, bitch. Uh, oh yeah, I used to listen to that shit in my fucking basement, like by myself. Oh my god. Like, yeah, like, and I remember thinking, like, listen, I I used to like that song "Criminal." Criminal was good. Yeah. Yeah. I used to listen to "Criminal" a bit, and then I remember, like, halfway through, like listening to that that album, I remember thinking, like, this is like not giving me good feelings. Like, this is honestly, like, actually some, like, bad shit to listen to. Yeah, it's pretty angry. 
if you go back and listen to it, like I, a lot of what he talks about, there's no fucking way you get away with it today. He's, oh like, no, he, he, talk, he he talks about like rape, like being proud of raping women and like killing his wife. And you know yeah. what? Honestly, like I have a problem with that now. Like as an adult, like listening to that, like yeah, I don't think fucking kids should be listening. Yeah, it's like pretty the king, the king of profanity here. Honestly, things. You know why? Because it's violent. It's Very, it's a yeah. cold, a, like fucking violence. But I'll say this: it's great music. Yeah, it's still great fucking music. Any, I, I, I don't give a shit what anybody says. The message is bad, but it's great music, and I, I listened to it today. I, I recently just listened to it like a week ago for the first time in like eight years or whatever, and. Yeah, it still holds up. It's still just a great album. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I think it's, I think that one's his best one. I I try to listen to some of his later ones. Fucking crap. Yeah. Yeah. Once it once it started to become, I sing every song. It is a duet <laughs> with a girl. It's like <laughs> um, I'm friends I'm... with a monster. It's under my bed. Yeah. Yeah, like. <laughs> there's still songs about like infidelity and like treating your significant partner like shit or having like mental health issues yeah but it's packaged up in this like disgusting R&B crap <laughs> and I just want to be like you're better than this man just keep doing whatever you were doing forever you know yeah. just get the killing your wife out of it that that would be good um yeah. okay let's see yeah, Mr. Wiffle Waffle writes, I used to listen to Disturb and Unedited when I was five. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, there's some Disturbed stuff I like. But as five years old. <laughs> five years old is a lot odd. <laughs> um, I just let me tell you, like, even when you get older, all the songs still sound exactly the fucking same. Yeah. Um, someone wrote, Who Wants to Be Fisted by Wolverine? Let's move on. Ouch. <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't even get that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the last episode of Eric Andre. There's a couple of episodes of Eric Andre, by the way, which are fucking hilarious. Oh, I just... The last one, I just literally watched it, like, before the live Jack, stream. The Jack Black one's pretty great. Yeah. I think the Flavor Flav one I watch with you is... Yeah. The Flavor Flav. Um, all right. Last... Last question. Uh, do you regard anything specific as an omen? Let's get a question that's not stupid. Yeah, I don't even understand what that's trying to hint. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time your family member asked you for advice? Ah, that's not good. Have you been secretly denying yourself? That's a weird one, too. <laughs> um, You're blowing it. This fucking Relapsed. Site. Steven Have you says, ever relapsed. reclaimed something you found on the street no also terrible give the story of your life in six words no <laughs> no <laughs> let's shit let's... shit 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 That's turn <laughs> on or turn off licking a foot no, keep going. Change categories. I, I used to have a foot fetish, but now not so much. For don't whatever. tell anybody. That. In don't high school, middle that. school, high school. I don't know why. It was just a thing. That's I don't anymore, though. bizarre. I used to want to. I used to suck on one of my ex's toes. Gross. <laughs> are you kidding me? I was like 17. I don't know what are it you, was. Are you kidding me? I had a weird thing for clean women feet i don't know why yeah yeah it's that uh, it's that it's that it's that asperger's man you like i don't anymore and, and obsess on like little bizarre I've things it since that's what it is that's <laughs> that's really odd i also don't know how you like have that and then it goes away you know <laughs> like halfway through my life i didn't go from like liking big boobs to like liking big ass well, like it's i it's have been i was never a boob person i mean i still i used to not care about boobs at all i still don't it doesn't matter but big boobs i find more attractive now than i did in like middle school and high school which is weird like in yeah, middle school high school i was like i don't care you're, yeah because you're a man because yeah. you're a goddamn man 
Yeah, that whole argument that like I I just date girls because they have nice asses. Well, have fun with that. Like, do you yeah. spend most of your time staring at your girlfriend's behind? Like, she's generally positioned in front of you. Wouldn't she want that to be appealing? Her eyes are up Which here, is Kyle. Her eyes are Which up is here. <laughs> yeah, and my dick's down here. Okay. <laughs> I, I get I get the general anatomy. <laughs> but yeah, to each his own. You know, if you want to suck on feet or whatever nonsense, yeah. weird shit, dude, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, Next question. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, what? Oh, these are so stupid. Um. God damn, these are dark too. Uh, turn on or turn off sex in the backyard. <laughs> I don't know if that's. A metaphor for an ass, or if you're just talking about having sex in the backyard. Never did it. Never done. Is that our question? Is that what we're going with? I mean, it's simple, yes or no. I guess no. <laughs> no. Let's move on. <laughs> what movie title best describes your sex life? That could be fun. Um, um, the Ten Commandments. Don't breathe. <laughs> oh my I spit on your grave Jesus and I know one for you bad taste that's not even a movie yeah it is it's Peter Jackson's first movie you silly bitch oh that's a dead alive right or is that before no that's, that's not before. his first movie uh, that's Brad... not his first movie. oh yeah. yeah brain dead was there's another, here's another one for you, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, thanks. That's great. Silence <laughs> of the fucking lambs. Yeah, I guess that means, like, you <laughs> fuck sheep so gently that they don't even make a sound. I'm a farm fucker. Oh, my God. Oh, God. This, 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 is, a this is good for... Game. This is... Yeah. This is... Mm. Uh, uh, shit. Of course I say that, and I immediately fucking blank right afterwards. Um, um dog day afternoon. That's a little, that that's needs a, a little work. One. That needs yeah. a little work. Uh, shit. Come on, guys. Give me, give me some, give me some names here. <laughs> Look, they're already doing it. Fury. Uh, No. Super size me maybe, maybe. The Fast and the Furious is a good one. Yeah. Fast and the Furious. Um, Step Brothers is kind of funny. Sit no, Sitting Brothers not funny. Home Alone. <laughs> There's a good Ted. one. Yeah. The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> ah, no. Here's the best one. There will be blood. There will be blood. Wow. The best. the best one. Yeah, that's that's best one. Congrats, whoever said that. Props October Fan Fest. October Fan Fest. Bravo. I will be surprised if any of you can beat that. Let's just do this. Let's just make a fucking joke competition. <laughs> joke competition. Yeah. The boy in the striped pajamas is also very funny. <laughs> Psycho is pretty good. Gone in sixty seconds. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, there's a, these people are funnier than we are. Fuck. Alone in the dark. Alone, alone in the dark. Oh my god! Yeah. Um. Hmm. I can't think of any. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, that's just because you're terrible. Fuck. You get paid to be funny. You can't come up with anything. I'm thinking of all a bunch of movies, but none of them are working. You're putting the jokes on a pedestal. You're putting the jokes on a pedestal, Damien. Just spit them out. Spaceballs is pretty funny. Space Halloween ball. is not funny. Stop. <laughs> Stop bringing that up. Nightmare on uh, the Street. Mice and men. Holes. Holes is funny. Holes. Just Holes is yum. really funny. 
Misery is also very funny. <laughs> the thing. Uh, yeah. God, yeah. Works. Uh, the mouth. The mouth of madness. Wow. Yeah. Face. Fuck it. Good old face. A hard day's night. Get hard. Oh god, but that's such a shitty movie. It follows. Lights out. Lights out is pretty good. Lights this out. is the end. <laughs> Let's just let you guys come up with our jokes from here on out. Here Let's we go. just do that. You guys Let's are just our writers now. Yeah, I know. I don't know which one's sausage party. Yeah, well, but that was kind of meant to be. It was yeah. kind of meant to be an innuendo. Um. Yeah, there will be blood. Is pretty funny. It's, it's pretty good. Um, failure to launch. That's also funny. <laughs> Damn. Like, yeah, that was. Good. Are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, you guys. That's pretty, pretty fucking funny. God damn. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Fuck. Men who stare at goats. Oh, that was a weird movie. Okay. Harry and the Hendersons. Not because that's good, it's just a hilarious reference that somebody <laughs> would Harry that and up. the Hendersons? I don't even... Suicide Squad. Or the name of all of the women, the group of women Damien's dated. Oh, thanks. And Four problem. The 400 blows. True. There you go. There's one for me. Breathless. <laughs> Breathless. Let's come up with some French New Wave. <laughs> Let's do that, guys. Eight and a half. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we haven't fully defined what it is. It's like what you want to have sex with, right? What uh, movie title best describes sex your sex? Okay, all right. Never Say Never is a good one. Never Say Never. Okay. All right. We're out of this shit. We're done. <laughs> Somebody wrote Damien's Gap Teeth. <laughs> uh, gotta end on a good note. Diary of a Mad Black Woman. <laughs> These guys are going crazy. Crazy, I say. Crazy. Okay. Sister Act. Good one. All right, guys. I think that's uh that's it. That's over an hour. An hour and ten yep. minutes. Oh, uh, so we will be back next week, Tuesday, six Video. p.m. Standard okay. Time, nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The video is going to be going up Thursday. This Thursday at noon, we're going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's Sister. Correct. Location, yeah. Freddy has a new game. And, and I'm sure you know that that means it's just the same game repackaged again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, maybe we'll try and do a little bit more of the horror games because you guys seem to like that a bit. Uh, even though I will continue to say our Guts and Glory episodes are very funny. Um, but, regardless, we love you all. Thank for Thank you for sh sh <laughs> from dust till dawn is also a good one um i'm 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 just getting fucking sidetracked here with these goddamn movies do you have anything left to say <laughs> nope just uh thanks for watching guys thanks for tuning in all right we love you we'll see you all guys next week and keep an eye out for the video coming up this thursday peace Peace.